And I messed around a little bit more with the colors, like what color would cool, would like fit cool? Would green be cool? Uh, would uh, uh, green, uh, yellow, orange, red, as you can see right here. So I decided to use this one, as you can see, the purple one. So what I did is I just saved this one. <laughs> What's up, guys? My name is Alex. Welcome back to a brand new Vegas 14 tutorial. And holy cow, two videos on a day. Alex, what the hell is going on? Well, guys, in this month of August, I'm going to upload a lot more Vegas 14 tutorials as usual because I have so many awesome um, advanced tutorials lined up. So if you guys are excited, make sure to smash the like button down below. And I would say let's get started. So as you guys know, I've been using a new intro over the last couple of weeks. And I'm going to show you guys exactly how I made that one so obviously everyone is uh, familiar with this outro as you can see uh, with just the blue if the image will load with some music underneath it you have been watching just Alex Alf. follow me Twitter uh, Instagram but the last few weeks I've been using this outro the purple one with some new music and I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I made it so first of all as you can see this is the uh, screen that I used uh, to change the color. So what we're gonna do, what I did first of all, I just used the old one, the blue one, and I just right clicked on it and I'm opening this up with Photoshop. So I'm gonna open up uh, the Photoshop file as you can see, and then I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I changed the color, how I changed the music and everything like that. So let me open up the Photoshop file. And as you guys can see right here, the file is loading. And this is basically my project that I used to create my outro. So as you can see right here, we have the blue image right here, this one. So what I did, first of all, I changed the colors. So I clicked on the layer. I went to image adjustments. I then went to hue saturation and I messed around a little bit more with the colors, like what color would cool, would like fit cool? Would green be cool? Uh, would uh, uh, green, uh, yellow, orange, red, as you can see right here. So I decided to use this one, as you can see, the purple one. So what I did is I just saved uh, this one. I just put this one to uh, zero. And as you can see, I just saved a plus 47. So I just clicked on here. Then I went to those blue lines, as you can see. I also uh, went to image, adjustments, hue and saturation. I just also typed in plus 47, as you can see. So now all the blinds are turning purple and that's how amazing it looks. So as you can see, I also have thunder in the corners. Also the same thing, adjustments, uh, hue and saturation and I picked plus 47 and as you can see right now the purple is uh, also as you can see, the thunder is also purple. And at the bottom, it says always ready in that little box. So what I did also is uh, I just uh, zoomed in a little bit. Then I went and looked for the, uh, the little box, which is this one. I just clicked on it. I picked the purple one. I picked this color. And as you can see, I just made the purple a little bit darker, like so, clicked on it. And as you can see, this is how I come to create my new outro screen. So I'm gonna close out Photoshop for now, and I'm going to open up the Vegas project, uh, which is going to be the outro. All right, folks, as you can see right now, this is my outro. And what I did, first of all, is I just replaced the blue image. So I went to project media, and I went to the image, and I just clicked, as you can see, replace. And I just picked, uh, the purple image which, which I'm going to re uh, replace right now as you can see which is this one obviously then I also deleted the audio and I just uh, dragged in the track no doubt by NCS as you can see so I'm going to also drag that into the project and I'm going to show you guys exactly how I timed it with uh, the music so if I go ahead and check for the drop This one. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, cut it right here. This one, as you can see, boom. If I delete uh, this beginning part, I'm going to uh, make it also a little bit uh, softer. So this is basically how I did it. And then right here, I just timed it, as you can see. So I'm gonna cut it like this, like so. 
And as you can see, I just have this end part. I'm going to uh, copy those. So I'm going to go ahead and drag this to here. And then I'm going to place it right here and time it. Like so. As you can see, and everyone is asking like, how do I have the like the just Alex Halford before the end for the before the music starts? That's just a really simple um, uh, person that spoke in my name a couple of times. Let me also drag that in. As you can see, this one he just uh, spoke in uh, a couple of times my name. Just Alex Halford. Just a just. And I just cut it right here until it sounds great. Then I'm going to cut it, and then I'm going to uh, group those two. Put it at the beginning and then make the music go fade in. Just Alex Halford. This is how I did it. Just Alex Halford. Let's uh, put it underneath there and let's make a nice fade in. Just Alex Halford. So this is how I created my new 2017 outro guys, that's how similar it is, so I want to thank you for watching, thank you for the continuous support, and I will catch you guys tomorrow with a brand new uh, Photoshop tutorial as always on Tuesday, so thank you for the continuous support, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Just Alex Halford.